Hey guys, Jay. Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, guys, um, this is a bit of a this is a bit of a journey for this particular package to get to me, um, and it's a bit of an interesting story. So, I might as well, you know, uh, open this up while telling you all about it because this actually has been around the world. Uh, well, not exactly around the world, but it's been from uh, the United States to two different provinces in Canada. And uh, I thought it was kind of fun. So let's talk a little bit about this little box here and what's inside. What is this? It's pretty obvious that it's some sort of Super 7 uh, shipper box. Now, I'm not going to show you the front because that'll give it away. Uh, but this is a very special uh, uh, item inside. But it's not what you might think. So a little bit of background with what's actually happened here. Um, this sold out very, very quickly. Actually, that's not true. This did not sell out very quickly. This actually took a, a, quite a while to sell out on Super7.com. Uh, but only in so much that it didn't sell out as fast as a lot of people thought it was going to. This was actually um, a, a Super7.com exclusive. And of course, they had uh, a time limit on it, right? I think you had a couple of, mo uh, like a month to buy the whole, to, to buy it. So th it's not particularly rare in any case at least not by super 7 standards um but i think what happened was because of the significance of this character when people started realizing that the time limit was coming up that people started buying this like crazy so by the time the pre-order finally ended uh it was very sought after and people who did not buy it on super 7 quickly realized that this wasn't going anywhere else and that they should start picking this up and the secondary market blew up. Um, funnily enough, a few months later, Big Bad Toy Store actually got a set of these because uh, Big Bad Toy Store tends to buy a lot of bulk for, for all of the Super 7 items pretty much everywhere. So they had a set of these and that was absolutely crazy and that one sold through very, very, very quickly. So some of you might have already guessed which figure this is just by me talking about it, uh, but I was not going to pay $100 for this figure, nor was I going to pay the $150 or $160, uh, in some cases at the time, almost $200 people were asking for this figure. So I tried to be smart about this. I was waiting for another sale from Super 7, maybe it was going to get it, you know, bite the bullet for an extra 50 bucks. Even though I didn't want to, that never happened. Uh, months went by and I really didn't have any other recourse. So I was thinking very, very much at the time, uh, maybe I can trade for this. Maybe somebody out there can help me out with this. And it was around that time that I got a message from a friend uh, on Instagram saying, holy crap, huge thanks to Brick Something for this hookup. And it was this figure. And I was literally like, oh my God, how the hell did that happen? Uh, I reached out to my good friend Brick Something and I said, Brother, can you hook me up? Because honestly, this guy is just stupid, ridiculous, uh, expensive. Uh, where did you buy that? Where did you get it? And he told me that he got it uh, on a trip uh, down to the, I believe it was the Los Angeles store for Super 7. So if you guys didn't know, Los, um, Super 7 actually has two physical locations one in Los Angeles and one in San Diego. So Brick Something, uh, took a trip down to, down to Los Angeles. Apparently it was one of the, an excursion or something like that. And he was able to pick this up for one of our mutual friends. I asked him very politely. I was like, do you think there are any left? And he said, there were a ton of them when I was there. And I was like, oh my God, for retail? And he's like, yeah, for retail. So I was like, brother, could you hook me up? And he said, sure, if I'm never down there again and it's still there, you got it. So uh, about a week later, Brick Something heads down to Los Angeles to the Super 7 store and what is there for everybody to pick up? No, no markup, no nothing. It is this figure. So Brick Something being the awesome compadre that he is, my good friend, my good Filipino brother from another mother, he went ahead and picked it up for me. I was super ecstatic. Um, and he's like, "Do you want to send? Do you want me to send it right away? Do you do, do you need it?" I was like, "No, no, no. Take your time, bro. Take your time." I wasn't in any rush because uh, shipping up here to Canada is just stupid ridiculous. So. It just so happened that he was actually heading up to Vancouver, up here in Canada, for a vacation. And uh, I think it was a, um, a work vacation, I'm not 100% sure. 
and he ended up hooking up with um, uh, Toy Connections, Ken. And at, at that point, I, I, I heard from Ken that night that he hung out with uh, Brick Something. And I was like, oh great, so Brick must have given you this figure. And he said, no, he didn't give me this figure. What? What the fuck? And I was like, what? That's kind of weird. I thought he would have given it to you. And apparently that wasn't the case. He didn't give it to Ken. I guess he didn't think that Ken and I uh, knew each other uh, and that I, I, it would have been a good idea to give it to Ken. As it ends up, he gave it to Adam uh, of, of Highly Articulated. Unfortunately, Adam lives in a province which is actually much further away than Ken. And apparently, you know, shipping out of his province is just astronomically expensive. I connected with Adam. I tried to find out if there was a way to get this over to me. And the quotes that I was getting from Adam were just absolutely insane. Um, so one day, I was basically like, all right, Adam, I don't know what we're going to do. Just keep holding on to it. It's not a big deal. I'm not in that much of a rush. You already have it. It was in Canada. So I knew that everything was going to be okay. Uh, but as it so happens, uh, a, a few months later, he ended up meeting up with Ken in Victoria, BC for a show. I asked him very nicely if he could actually give it to Ken. So pretty much immediately at that night, Ken didn't even waste any time. So huge shout out to Ken of Toy Connections. Brother, thank you so much. You really hooked me up with this. So for those of you who haven't figured out what this is yet, let's crack this open and see exactly what all the trouble is. Because this went from Los Angeles to uh, uh, the township that um, uh, somewhere in California, somewhere else in California that Brick something lives, to Vancouver, to another to another part of British Columbia, and then back to where Ken lives, and finally, it reached me here in Ontario. So let's let's crack this up, guys, and see what we got. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, actually, in truth, it's actually been a month uh, since this was mailed to me from Ken. I just have been so busy doing other things that I haven't had a chance to open this up. Um, but once you see what it is, I think you guys will agree it was worth the wait because this thing is just astronomically expensive on the secondary market right now. All right, let's open this up, guys. Whoever whoever packed it, thank you. Uh, because this is actually not the box uh, for for this character. This is actually a, uh, a, tur a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle box. Uh, you can tell because it says Nickelodeon right there. So... Yeah, that's how you can tell it's not a um, for this character. We're gonna open it on this side, like this. Oh, huge thanks <laughs> to any one of the guys who held this. Uh, you know, whether it was uh, Ken who packed this, or Adam, or uh, yeah, you know, it, it bring something. Whoever packed this, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it because this one, unfortunately, it is quite the. Uh, Quite the expensive figure now. All right, guys. Whoo! Oh, what do the kids say now? It's minty. This looks minty. This looks really minty, guys. So, here we go, everybody. Can you tell who it is just by just by the way the light is playing? Probably you can probably read it right now, guys. Thanks to Brick Something, I finally have in my possession Ghost Freaking Jaga. Holy crap, everybody! Um. I'll be honest with you, uh, the main reason why I didn't pick this up uh, from Super 7 is that it was just too expensive. For uh, um, As a single figure, uh, with the shipping from Super 7, it was just obscenely ups uh, expensive. Um, but if I'd known at the time that it would become even more obscenely ex expensive, I probably would have pulled the trigger at that time. As it stands, I am just super fortunate to have good friends like Brick Something. Um, highly articulated, uh, Adam, and of course, uh, Ken from Toy Connections, who really, this went through three different hands to get to me. Um, and guys, thank you so much for that. This has been freaking, this, it, it, this is freaking amazing. The community has come together to actually get this in my hands. And I really, really appreciate it. You guys freaking rock. Thank you so much. Let's, um, let's not, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and, and crack this open. You can see the seal is right there untouched untouched so yeah let's let's take the, let's let's pull this open guys oh, oops hit the uh hit the mic again sorry guys there he is there's ghost jaga and here we go the big reveal there's nothing in there 
<laughs> there is nothing. I'm just kidding. Oh my god, there he is. There's Ghost Jog, everybody. Holy crap. Oh my god. I cannot freaking believe I finally have Ghost Jog in my possession. This is great. Let's have a look at him here. Look at Jaga. My goodness. Honestly, the paint looks incredible. It really does. Uh, Super 7 really knows how to, how, how to treat uh, these figures with the proper respect. I am loving this. Holy crap. He's got both his swords. He's got those crazy looking hands. And he's got that... Uh, there, there is a hand there that's a little bit yellow, apparently. You know, for bestowing ancient wisdom onto, uh, onto Lionel. It's freaking crazy. Oh my god. If we turn it around, we can see that wonderful illustration of Jaga the Wise. Amazing, everybody. Holy crap. Holy crap. This is insane. <sighs> I was hoping uh, to get this on the, on uh, at Big, Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth because I didn't want to pay you know the Atlanta the the, the crazy shipping uh, from Super Seven. I've I've paid Super Seven shipping in the past for Snake Mountain, for the Thunder Tank, for so many different things. Um, but this one it's it's a, such a small figure and the and the the shipping up to Canada is just stupid right now. So I, I just couldn't pull the trigger, but he was so far out of reach by the time I really decided to start looking for him that if it wasn't for Brick Something, this would be a different story entirely. Like he would be, he would have been the difference between a sixty dollars figure to me, uh, U.S. and a hundred and fifty dollars figure to me, possibly even two hundred dollars. So huge, huge thanks to everybody involved. As I said, Brick Something, thank you so much, brother. Adam, thank you, my friend. Ken, thank you so much, brother. You guys, you guys hooked it up and you guys made this happen. All you guys are freaking amazing. The community is freaking amazing. Guys, thank you so much. This, this is a dream come true. Because what are the Thundercats without Ghost Jaga, right? Woo! Guys, that was my little tale of the box that's gone to several different places, you know, like halfway across the world, uh, you know, and traveling anyway. Just absolutely incredible. Guys... Thank you so much for sharing this with me. This is just absolutely incredible. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please do leave me a like. It really helps me out. I hope you're all doing well. Staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I don't know. I might open them up. I might not. It, this, uh, sorry, I hit the mic again. It's it's a, a bit of a decision that I really have to make. We'll see what happens. But Jaga has made it into the Mega J Retro Collection. Good journey, everybody. Thundercats ho, everybody. Thundercats ho.